I first met Donald Trump um, during a rehearsal at Miss USA. Um, and we were all, some of the girls were, were on stage practicing their parts and the rest of us were in the audience just waiting to go on. And um, from my recollection, my dad was the first one to spot him. He came walking in from the far side of the auditorium. Um, and I remember him walking over. My dad was very confident and he really admired Donald Trump. And so he went over and introduced himself first and then he introduced me. And it was at that time where he turned to me and um, embraced me and gave me a kiss on the lips. And I, I remember being shocked and because I would have just thought to shake somebody's hand, but that was his first response with me. And I remember, um, I, I mean, I was very young and I remember feeling kind of embarrassed, like wanting to turn and almost wipe my mouth, like what just happened? And, and um, he was very nice and that was it. And that was the first time I met him. And, met him a few more times after that. I remember going to Trump Towers to meet with him and we went up, um, I can't remember what floor it was on, but I remember sitting there and waiting for him to come out. And um, there was the receptionist sitting there to the right and um, I remember him coming out and the first thing he did was just smile and give me a warm embrace with another kiss. And I remember immediately thinking, what does he think this is? Kind of, just what does he think this is? And then just feeling super awkward. Um, but then again, I just was like, well, again, maybe that's just the way they greet. They greet somebody. I didn't, I didn't know. I mean, I know in Europe, they sometimes greet each other with kisses on the cheek. So I thought maybe this is something they do. I just, I was uncomfortable, definitely. And I remember um, I spoke to my chaperone after, and I remember her saying that she had felt uncomfortable to where um, she didn't want me back there alone. So one of the chaperones went with me back into his office. What kind of a kiss was it? Um, when I when he kissed me, the kiss would have been like how I, I for one, I don't kiss anybody that I don't know. And um, I would have, if I had a boyfriend that I was meeting for lunch, that's kind of the kiss that it would have been. I mean, it was it was a warm embrace and it was a kiss, you know, just a a, a quick kind of a peck. But um, again, I would never approach anybody or greet anybody like that unless it was somebody that I had been dating. But it was on the lips. It was, the kiss was definitely on the lips. Um, if you felt uncomfortable the first time you met him, why did you choose to accept his invitation to meet with him in New York? Um, so I did feel uncomfortable the first time I met him, but I had, I had just kind of excused that in my mind as that's just how people maybe greet each other from the East Coast. Um, and so, and the second time I was going to meet with him, I knew I would have chaperones there. So I wasn't as nervous going to meet with him. I remember, um, we all kind of joked around going, what was that? You know, just what was that? What did that mean? Um, so yeah, I mean, you just, you're kind of trying to make sense of it because, because he's more than twice my age. And so I wasn't trying, and he's married at the time to Marlo Maples and I wasn't trying to think that he's hitting on me. I wasn't, I didn't know what to think of it. So you just, you kind of laugh going, that was super awkward. What, what am I to think of that? You know, and so you just don't know really what to make of it. You mentioned that you had heard the leaked Access Hollywood tape. What was your response when you heard Mr. Trump's comments about women on that tape? And how did it make you feel? When I first heard the leaked tape, um, it's very unsettling. I mean, you don't want to hear anybody talking about women like that. I have a daughter now, and um, I don't want to get emotional, but yeah, it's really hard because you think of sending your little daughter out there, sorry, um, with men like that, that think like that. And I'm sorry, I hate getting emotional. But um, yeah, you look at your sweet little innocent daughter and you just think, this is the world I'm raising her in, and this is the type of men that exist out there and and you think if this is somebody that um sorry if this is somebody that could potentially become president of the united states i mean i my dad actually used to work for ronald reagan when i was younger and we used to look up to ronald reagan we used to have pride in our country and and i i think of the possibility of having somebody like donald trump become president when he has the history that he has when he has spoken like he, like we've all heard him speak, um, it it terrifies me. I don't want my kids looking up to somebody like that. I don't think it's right. I, um, you know, and I just think his place is 
is not really in the presidential election right now. And so that's the only reason why um, I wanted to share, the, share my story. And I'm not a Hillary fan by any means. In fact, I don't even plan to really vote for either one of those two. Um, but I just, you know, and I don't know Hillary to speak personally on that matter, but I do know my experience that I had with Donald Trump, which I feel like all of that's important. You know, anybody that has an experience should come forward. When Donald Trump said that those comments weren't representative of his treatment of women, um, I mean, I'm not shocked. I, but I, I have the experience of, of when he says he can just kiss beautiful women on the lips and he can't hold back or whatever it was that he said. I definitely have experienced that. Um, obviously, the other part I haven't experienced, thankfully. Um, but yeah, it's shocking. I, it's, it's saddening. I mean, I hope there's not very many women out there that have to come forward and, and share experiences. But I don't know. I mean, it's, but yeah, it's hearing something like that from somebody that's looking to become president of the United States, it's, it's very disheartening. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.